Thank you. Previously, uh, the changes were mentioned in the changes in relation to new adjuvant uh, treatment of uh, prostate cancer and different statistics when it comes to the increase of mortality from prostate cancer around the world and Russian Federation. But for patients with localized and local regional prostate cancer, there are two options, hormonal therapy, distance uh, uh, radiation therapy or prostatic therapy, uh, um, but after surgical intervention, in 30 percent, uh, five percent of uh, cases, there is biochemical relapse of the disease, and the level of mortality among those patients reaches 17 percent. So it's necessary to apply new adjuvant uh, treatment. We analyze the results of. Uh, 10 years follow-up of radical prostatectomy at Petrov Institute, a relapse-free five-year survival amounted up to 72 percent. But under more detailed study of relapse-free survival, it was varying uh, depending on the involvement of regional lymph nodes. For patients with the status N0, uh, the, uh, it was 45 months relapse-free survival versus 20 month, uh, months in patients with uh, involvement of regional lymph nodes, which shows the necessity of applying new adjuvant treatment prior to radical prostatectomy in such patients. Retrospectively, new adjuvant treatment uh, has been undergoing several stages of its uh, development. First of all, in 1944, valid uh, used autotomy in preventively uh, in patients between, uh, before prostatectomy. Uh, then Scott showed 10, Scott shows 10 years result for 10 years uh, RFS uh, with new adjuvant therapy in patient before prostatectomy. Then Cochrane of view was presented on the efficacy and non-efficacy of hormonal treatment prior to surgery. It did not increase relapse-free survival or uh, total survival, but Cochrane review shows that there is a change of regional status of lymph nodes uh, in a increase of more recent of uh, uh, treatment and all the subsequent work, uh, be it chemotherapy or target treatment, defectimate or kevacizumab. Uh, they are targeted at the search for uh, morphological changes in prostate, uh, um, which could uh, change the oncological survival. As to the prostate cancer, we can uh, also compare it uh, to breast cancer, for which in 2006, European medical community suggested the term residual tumor bed after new adjuvant, new adjuvant uh, treatment. Now, morphologists are assessing the changes which happened against the background of new adjuvant treatment. This indicator is called RSCB. It's correlating with relapse-free survival results. But as to prostate cancer, apart from uh, being very heterogeneous, high-risk group, prostate uh, cancer has got multifocal growth. Uh, after studying pathomorphosis in the example of one patient, so it's very difficult, uh, time and effort-consuming. A group of uh, uh, investigators headed by uh, Murphy identified validated metamorphosis for patients on new adjuvant uh, hormonal therapy. And after the change of morphology of prostate, uh, uh, they could be split into subgroups. Uh, subgroup A, which is characterized by uh, some separate cells or cell clusters, its pattern for mostly most benign group of prognosis is B group. Uh, uh, there are well-formed, separately standing or blending tumor glands and less, uh, least benign group and for prognosis is subgroup C, it's cribriform component or introductal carcinoma. On top of uh, studying pathomorphosis of prostate cancer, now we have been using immunohistological markers. In 2007, Mark and Goetz showed that 
that after those who can sell with astromycin, uh, change the expression of P53 and BCL2, which in combination with elevated expression and mutations in P53 was associated to adverse prognosis. Later trial of 2012 demonstrated the impact of change of RG expression change in combination with index of proliferation, full loss of expression of eptin uh, protein, which was characterized uh, in uh, the reduction of median of relapse-free survival. Hopsworth, uh, Hopsworth 2010 uh, studied the changes in expression of shamed protein with the elevated expression of semid. Uh, they associate that with the reduction of RFS. All the markers and pentamorphosis was used by us in the analysis of the results of our work, which was conducted until the year 2018. 47 patients were included into the trial. It was chemotherapy by docetaxel for six cycles in combination with hormonal therapy. At the second stage of treatment, there was surgical treatment in the volume of laparoscopy of uh, uh, prostate was extended liver. told me there was a control group as to clinical characteristics at the moment when the patients were included into this trial. The patients were comparable at age, volume of prostate, volume of PSA. Nonetheless, in non-new age one the treatment group, there were patients with a lower degree of differentiation of prostate cancer, uh, Gleason score of four and five, uh, and patients with a less uh, regional process. But after uh, the treatment, there was a reduction of differences between the differentiation degree and stages of adenoconceromal prostate. And also at new adjuvant treatment, there was a reduction of frequency of positive margin by 15%. But uh, we didn't see in the case of full tumor response against the background of therapy. We did the stratification of patients in the group of new adjuvant treatment on identified changes and pentamorphosis in the system of ABC Murphy. And in case of localized process, there were not uh, a single case of C group for this uh, benign. Most cases, 23% of cases are represented by subgroup B. When we compared RFS between subgroups A, B, and C, statistically significant difference were not identified. So we made an attempt to uh, unite less benign subgroups uh, B, A, and C versus subgroup B. So we obtained the gain as RFS. Uh, and in most benign group, it was by 10 months longer. We did analysis. We structured multi-tissue blocks. We did see big differences in the change of expression of P53 against the backdrop of therapy. It was full loss of 10 therapy uh, expression and elevation of expression of protein P16, which is indicative of the fact that under localized process, it's met only in 5% of all the cases at local regions process, it increases to 38, which is indicative of adverse prognostic factor for such patients. And by the same token, we studied the expression of cement, um, make, um, protein and androgen receptor RG against the backdrop of studying expressions of obtained mar by marker. So we made uh, the simulation of forecasting for survival. The correlation coefficient was demonstrated between St. Mead protein and less free survival as a result we structured linear regression equations and we applied this equation uh, in relation to two clinical cases first patient 61 years of age in 2015 the CTH was uh, staged as CTH 3A10. Uh, it was uh, advanced uh, local regional process enlargement on leaf nodes and adverse and low level, low degree of differentiation of uh, tumor process, nine scores by Gleason against the background of therapy over six cycles, we found changes. Uh, uh, it was the reduction of prostate tumor, a reduction of prostate specific antigen reduction by 93% gistology. 
I did not evaluate the degree of differentiation of demicarcinoma of prostate and one metastasis out of 26 uh, uh, removed pelvic lymph nodes was identified. Trepan peptide. Uh, uh, prior to combined treatment was given as a main expression was 100% against the background of therapy. The expression of this protein was reduced to 8%. Uh, uh, according to this equation, the expected RFS was to be about 20 months, but uh, in fact, to relapse for survival in that patient reached 48 months. Another example. Similar criteria of eligibility, PC at the moment of inclusion, the degree of differentiation of the process, it was CT3B, uh, NMM10, there was enlarged lymph node, uh, uh, and there were six cycle, cycles of new adjunct treatment, and yes, the backdrop of this, it was a full regress of pelvic, pelvic lymph nodes. Second stage was surgery. Uh, similar, in a similar way, PSA regression was uh, more than 90%, and we identified two metastases out of 25 removed um, no, uh, nodes. CEMEC was 70% in the beginning, but against the backdrop of therapy despite the fact that prostate specific antigen was re expression was reduced and there was the change in the volume of prostate the expression of this protein elevated up to 90 percent using the formula of linear regression they expected rfs for this patient was 16 months and uh, de facto actually it was 16.5 percent which uh, is indicative uh, of the reproductibility of this regression model in clinical practice. Uh, conclusions, uh, major conclusions we have on this trial that it's possible to use analytical validators, the protein morphic uh, assessment when partomorphosis criteria are split into groups A, B, C, and the forecast of the length of RFS for that we use the assessment of expression of seen weak um, um, gene in the material. Thank you. That's it.